So I've got my essay written, and I've been working on it for about a week. So now I'm going to show you how I use Grammarly to edit. Okay, so here's my essay, and I'm going to click through Grammarly suggestions in the right panel. Your sentence may be unclear or hard to find.
welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Before we begin our program, we ask that you please rise and remove your caps for the playing of the national anthem. Not, not you, not you. Not, not you babies, not, don't take your caps off. I'm talking about the people. You may be seated. Go ahead, get it out, get it out, get it out. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire faculty and staff, welcome to the Belleville High School commitment, commencement exercises. This is our first year back, and we are so excited that it got to be the class of 2022. We would like to extend a special welcome to the parents grandparents, family members, and friends who are here to share in the pride of this occasion with our graduating seniors. Graduates, these wonderful people have been there and will continue to support you through the various trials and tribulations of life. They have given you endless advice, some of which you may have heard, but may really begin to understand in the coming weeks, months, and years. No matter what, they have always wanted what is best for you as a class, we are going to stand and applaud them for their impact, influence, and support. For your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, give them a hand. Give them a hand. Everyone who is here to support them, find them. Do you, know, do you see where they are? Give them a hand. <laughs> Good job, good job. Before we begin the former portion of tonight's ceremony, I would like to take a moment to recognize several individuals for their contributions to the success of our students. First, the members of our Van Buren Board of Education who dedicate countless hours to our educational system. Their vision and commitment to excellence continues to set a fine example for every member of the Van Buren family. And they are President of the School Board, Amy Pierce. Please remain standing. Vice President, Susan Featheringill. <laughs> Secretary, Darlene Lawyer Garrick. Treasurer, Simone Pinter. Trustee, Dion Falconer. Trustee, Calvin Hawkins. Trustee Kelly Owen. Let's give them all a hand. Thank you. 
Next up, we have our central office administrators. They have also played a significant role in the, in the success of tonight's graduates. Their vision and leadership have shaped the education of our seniors in innumerable ways, some ways you may never even understand. Please join us in thanking our superintendent, Mr. Peter Kutlak, our director of human resources, Mr. Abdul Madhun, our director of curriculum, Mr. Jeff Moore, our director of special services, Mrs. Karen Johnston, and our Director of Finance, Ms. Sarah Cortese. And finally, I would like to introduce the members of our high school administrative team, Ms. Felicita Green. Mr. Brian Roberson couldn't be with here, us tonight. Mr. Scott Wilsey, our new tech director. Mr. Dan Wright. And Mr. Joseph Brody, our athletic director. Let's give them a big hand, come on now. Not with, us, not with us on stage this evening, but equally deserving of our gratitude are the countless teachers and support personnel who have given so much of themselves in service to our students. They have spent countless hours grading assignments, creating lessons, and especially over these last few years, creating new and innovative ways of teaching that will hopefully stay with you for many years to come. They have dedicated and committed themselves to shifting and adapting their methods amidst a changing pandemic. They have done it for you because it mattered to them to get you here today. Can all of our BHS teachers who are present here today please stand? Any BHS teacher, counselor, if you are here today, please stand. Let's recognize them. Support personnel. Seniors, I only have a few more moments with you, so I'd like to talk to you about a few things, three words actually, that I believe will be important for where you're going next. I, does anybody know what those three words may, anyone? What's the first word? I, oh, good, good. What, what's the second word? Uh-huh, and what is that third word? So how does this apply to you becoming graduates? First of all, purpose. Your purpose goes with you because it is you. Your gifts, talents, and abilities are unique to you and whatever problem you were created to solve, whether it be providing affordable childcare or creating more efficient lighting installation procedures for parking structures, somebody in here is going to do that. It could be working with the team to move a company forward, developing strategies for more effective pain management. Someone in here is going to do that. Whatever it is, as you continue to move forward in your path, there will be bumps in the road, transitions, job changes, changes in general. Your purpose is your compass. If you begin to find yourself feeling unfulfilled, you may be getting too far away from your purpose. The opposite of this, though, is that the closer your work is to your purpose, the happier and the more fulfilled you will be. When you love what you do, it doesn't even feel like work. And I can testify to that. So that's your purpose, your individual gifts, talents, and abilities. What's the next word? I can't hear you. Excellence. Excellence just means do it well. Whatever it is that you are given to do, give it your best. How you do something is just as important as what you do. I'm going to say that again. How you do something is just as important as what you do. Seek to make sure that you are meeting the highest standard possible, and when you find out it can be done better, do it. When you know better, then do better. That was Maya Angelou. And then the last one is, oh, that sounds a little sad. Let's try it again. The last one is, thank you. What does this mean for you all as graduating seniors? 
Achievement at this point has nothing to do with an SAT or a power standards test. It means nothing right now. What it does mean for you now is that learning is never over. Part of our purpose at BHS is to make sure that you all are certified and qualified in more than just high school. As you continue to develop your purpose, every certification, degree, advanced course that you take qualifies you for something more. We urge you to set high goals and to continue to learn throughout your life to meet the challenges head on. Our world is anxiously awaiting you. We fully believe in you. Good luck, class of 2022. Godspeed, congratulations, and go Tigers. Next, we will have words from our superintendent, Mr. Pete Kutlak. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'm thrilled to be addressing Belleville's class of 2022 for the final time. I'm excited that we're all gathered here together in one place. This is a fantastic group of young men and young women, and we thank all the parents for that. You've done a wonderful job. I always lament at what message I'm going to give at these ceremonies and what I'm going to talk about, uh, what the message will be, what, what's in my heart right now to talk about to you all. Um, and, you know, at this time I, th I thought it'd be important to say what I wish I would have hear, heard on my graduation day. So first of all, when you were all in seventh grade, I met you for the first time. You were an excitable 12-year-old really not thinking anything about today in graduation. Since that time, you've made tens of thousands of decisions that shaped yourself into the you that's sitting in front of me right now. You made decisions about how to spend your time, school, sports, friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, on healthy things, on unhealthy things, as well as how you treat people, including your family. You made these decisions. You made decisions on what you value, and a host of other things. There's no judging for me. It is what it is. You currently are a collection of those decisions. Know that this is how other people see you. For some, that's exactly how you were intending to be seen. But for others, you know that the collection of those decisions is not the person that you are inside. So many years ago, I was able to push the reset button and reinvent myself. Like many of you, I spent my adolescent years pushing back against a difficult childhood and angry at the, at the adults in my life at the decisions that they were making in their lives. I didn't get good grades and I didn't care. Out front of my high school, just before my graduation ceremony, a teacher said to me, she actually said this, things could have been different for you it's too bad that life deals different cards to different kids. And that always stuck with me. She was writing me off because of circumstances that I had been dealing with. While I was mad at the time, it drove me to not let my current situation define me. I spent the next hour or so perseverating on what she said. My decisions up to that point did not reflect the person that I thought I was inside. Earlier, I said that I was at the graduation ceremony, but I was not sitting where you are today in a cap and gown. I was sitting up in the stands watching my classmates graduate because I was not allowed to participate in graduation ceremonies because of my decisions. You can make the change that you want to make. You really can. You're in control of this. You need to take charge and just make them. No one else can do it for you. They can all tell you you need to, but until you want to make it and you do it, you're not going to make it. Peers and others have defined you. They know where you fit and what your role is. Are you the, you're the smart one. You're the athletic one. You're the one who will do anything for a laugh or a like. You're the one who doesn't care. You're the troubled one. Everybody has these tags that are put on them. For some of you, that's exactly perfect and you love it. 
For others, it's not, and it's up to you to do something about it. Everyone needs a quote in their speech, so I figured I'd throw one in here. It's by Bikram Chowhury. Never too old, never too bad, never too late, never too sick to start from scratch once again. People reinvent themselves all the time, sometimes at graduation, like myself, sometimes when they're 30, sometimes when they're 60, sometimes they keep doing it every few years because they need to. It's big and small things. It's a profession that you're pursuing. Be bold and make it yours, not anybody else's. It's friends and relationships. Are they treating you like you deserve to be treated? It's even politeness in how you treat others. Don't let others take you down their dark road of hate and small-mindedness. Make your own mind up. Please forgive yourself for your past decisions. Allow yourself to be the wonderful person you deserve to be. Be strong and go down the road that you want to go on and become the person that you see in the mirror. Thank you and know that I am proud of all of you. It's my pleasure now to introduce the class of 2022 Vice President Jada Tyler for some opening reflections. Good evening. My name is Jada Tyler and I am the 2022 class Vice President. It is my pleasure to welcome faculty, family, friends, and of course, my fellow graduates to Belleville High School's 2022 graduation ceremony. Thank you all for coming out tonight to celebrate the end of our high school careers. As we look back into the last four years, we are all filled with many irreplaceable memories that we will cherish forever. From our football team winning a state championship to the basketball team making it all the way to the Final Four, Spirit Weeks all the way to homecoming and prom. Memories like these will live on in our hearts no matter how far apart we are. We are all extremely excited to see where this next chapter of our lives will take us. I would like to thank you all again for joining us to honor the graduating class of 2022. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce our class salutatorian, Avery Fields. Good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Avery Fields, and I'm the salutatorian of the Belleville High School class of 2022. Some of you may recognize me as the drum major from this, one of the drum majors from this marching band season, or from my performance in Seussical the Musical. And some of you may not know me at all, and that's okay. That's what makes Belleville so unique. We are a large, diverse community, and even if we don't all know each other, we're connected, and that's what I love about it here. We're intertwined, our lives connected by the buildings, the teachers, and the programs we're in. We're like a family forced in the same cramped space. We yell and complain, but at the end of the day, we still care for each other because that's what family does. Yet we're growing older, and we're leaving this building, and we're saying goodbye to this family. I know some of us think change is scary, and some of us can't wait to hightail it out of here. But change, has, change is upon us, and we can't stop that. What matters is what we do from this day forward. The rest of your life starts today, not tomorrow, not next week, now. Your attitude and determination are the first steps to the rest of your life. As we look back on our four years here, we may reminisce on the things we've accomplished and stressed over. It's okay to have regrets and to wish you did things differently but remember to learn from those experiences. What you did in high school does not define you. High school was merely a short chapter in what I know will be your long, successful life. You will do so much in the future, but remember, you are the one in charge of your legacy, 
It is up to you to decide what story will be told. So be present and be loud and share your voice. Remember that you are the real you. Take risks. I've had so many fears in high school, including writing and giving this speech. But I've learned that everything I don't do or try is one less story I live to tell. Our time is limited, and we have to make the most of it. You may not always land where you wanted, but make sure it happened for a reason. Discover it and run with it. Take every downfall and turn it into a new step. Your life is full of challenges, so don't give up before you have a chance to play. I will never forget when my swim coach thought me and my teammates could not break one of the BHS swim records in our relay. We weren't fast enough in my coach's eyes. I didn't settle for this response, and I convinced them to let us try. We signed up for the event, which was unfortunately the last one of the entire meet. So for fun, we signed up for the first event. Funny story, we left that night proving my coach wrong. We broke, <laughs> we broke not one, but two swim records. My point in this is that there will be people that are more qualified, that seem more knowledgeable and respectable, that will doubt you. But that doesn't mean what they say is true. Don't let those people be right. Your perseverance doesn't have to be in the face of a life-altering event, but I promise that standing up for yourself, even once, could be the difference between just another day and your dreams. I think back to all the times my classmates have done remarkable things. You have all accomplished so many things in such a short amount of time, and I'm so lucky I was able to witness it all. As we grow older and find new places and new families, I know you will continue to accomplish at an exponential rate. It's easy to dwell on the hardships you've experienced, but in the face of success, remember to celebrate. Sharing experiences with the ones you love is what makes our life so unique and different. We're still connected even on our different paths. Keep your friendships you've made here. You'll need them in college. And keep your friendships here for when you have good news to share as well. These people are always going to have your back. If you look to the people on your left and on your right, each one has made it here today alongside you and is cheering you on. We may have traveled on different paths, but the destination has led us to the same place, graduation day. After today, we may travel far or stay close to home, but our connections can run greater than any number of miles. And as you make new friends, look back with fondness and tell the stories of Belleville. So who is the class of 2022? We're future lawyers, business owners, the next politicians, nurses, and artists. We've been faced with hardship time and time again, and we've spent much time apart, but our differences and perseverance always bring us back together. We are not defined just by our ability to wear black and orange, but by our ability to persevere in the face of the unknown and the difficult. Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. I know some of us feared we would not walk this stage today, that school was never gonna end, or we grew tired quickly of it all. But look at us now in our caps and our gowns. We've succeeded. This success is one you can hold with you for the rest of your life, but don't let it be your last. Success is too often measured by the amount of money you make. People forget success is also the impact you've made on other lives and the legacy you've created. I truly believe you can make a change. You all bring something so unique to the table, something no one else has. So don't sell yourself short and don't hold back. Now, it wouldn't be a graduation speech if I didn't thank my family and my friends for supporting me, especially my parents. I love you, mom and dad. <laughs> I also have to thank all of the other parents, grandparents, family, and friends, many of which are here tonight, for supporting all of us along the way. We couldn't have done it without you. I also have to thank the staff, including our custodians, teachers, counselors, administrators, and our new principal, Ms. Crockett, for their support and life lessons throughout the years. Mr. Taylor specifically, I'd like to thank for the quote engraved in every one of his students' heads. Change is inevitable, but growth is optional which I think is one thing we should all leave here today thinking about. Our lives as we know it are changing, and we will no longer live with the consistency we've had for the last 13 years. It is up to us to take this opportunity head on and to grow in the face of these new circumstances. I challenge you to face your fears and to make the most of this next chapter. Be who you never thought you could be. Don't define your life before you've lived it. You will experience change, so be patient and confident, and you will accomplish everything you believe you can and more. 
trust yourself. So the class of 2022, you are the best and most inspirational family that I've ever had, and I'm so lucky I was a part of it all. You have shown compassion, strength, beauty, and dedication to a degree so powerful, I know the world isn't gonna know what hit it. But for today, let's forget about the world. Today is about us and our accomplishment. We did it. No matter what happens, you will always have this day and these memories. You will succeed time and time again, but you only graduate high school once. So live in this moment. We will forever be the class of 2022 that survived the unexpected, and I know we will continue to do so. Our legacy will be written long after today, but I know it will tell the, per the tale of our perseverance and success. So congratulations, class of 2022, and thank you. <laughs> It is now my pleasure to introduce Student Council Advisor, the one, the only, Mr. Anthony Tadaldi. All right. Good evening. My name is Anthony Tadaldi. I am a teacher here at BHS and one of the Student Council Advisors alongside Mrs. Carlin. This evening, Mrs. Carlin is unable to be present, so I will be reading the speech for the seniors on her behalf. Apparently, Beyonce was booked. She, you could laugh. Um, <laughs> she wanted me to thank all of the amazing staff and fabulous families for being present tonight. That being said, as I read her speech, imagine, imagine as though it is Mrs. Carlin addressing all of you. I could never fill her fabulous shoes, but I'm going to try. <clears throat> For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jessica Carlin, and I am not only a Belleville teacher, I am one of the advisors for the class of 2022. I know that this is the moment where advisors typically give life advice in the form of something cliche, like what goes around comes around, or laughter is the best medicine. People tend to roll their eyes at them because they are common and overused. The reality is that cliches are frequent and popular because they possess glimmers of truth, tried and true, if you will. They feel safe and connected to the realities of the world, our realities. And as an English teacher, I am sure I occasionally fall into the cliche of being wordy and long-winded. I find words to be precious and I try not to waste them. So I will be brief as I impart my several decades of wisdom and experience. The biggest idea, best piece of advice I can throw your way is to be present. In all things you do, make sure to take time to be present. Being present is much more than showing up and existing in the space. Being present is seeing it all and taking in moments, like right now. How many of you have taken the time to be present in this moment? Let's try it. Class of 2022, take a moment and look at the people sitting next to you. Feel the weight of the graduation cap on your head. Feel that tassel pulsing with the energy to be moved to the other side. The symbolic movement of the next step in life. Feel the energy of your loved ones looking at you smiling, crying tears of joy to see you hit this momentous occasion. Families and loved ones, take the time to do the same. See your student down there about to take a huge step toward the next chapter of their lives, of your lives together. Think of all the love, support, and guidance that you provided to help them get here. Be present with them. We tend to get so hung up on the past and so hyper-focused on the future that we forget the present. The present is where life happens. It's where we learn and grow and love. Yes, it contains some bumps and heartache, but it is full of glory. Experience it, not always through the lens of a camera or through an Instagram feed, but experience it for yourself. So when you step foot into that new job, take your place on that military base, Pick up the first tools of your trade or sit in your first college lecture hall. Do just that. Take a moment to take in that moment. See it, hear it, feel it. 
and know that the present will serve to prepare you for your future. Thank you all, and congratulations, class of 2022. And now I'm lucky enough to introduce you to your class valedictorian to deliver her valedictorian's address, the wonderful Laura Montgomery. Like they just said, my name is Laura Montgomery and I am honored to be BHS's Class of 2022 Valedictorian. <laughs> I would like to begin by thanking every person who has made this ceremony possible and we appreciate your effort to make it run smoothly. Additionally, on behalf of this senior class, thank you to every single teacher, parent, grandparent, sibling, friend, aunt, uncle, and so on, who has supported us through these four years of our lives and helped us discover our true potential. We would not be here today without you guys. Now, there are a number of people and friends I could give a shout out to, but I would like to individually thank two teachers who have impacted my life tremendously. To Ms. Jager for always supporting me in every endeavor. Without her, I would have never found my passion for math, and even when she already had to teach six classes this year with no prep, she still agreed to be my advisor for calculus to ensure that I could take the class. She has been a shoulder to cry on, a mentor, and a person who is and will always be someone I look up to. Figuratively, of course, because she's really short. <laughs> I will miss our chats about math and life, but most of all, I will miss the hash browns and free food she always gave me from her notorious Burger King runs. Thank you, Ms. Jager. My heart is eternally grateful to you. And to Mr. Taylor for never failing to put a smile on my face. I'm extremely lucky that I was able to have him for all four years of high school. And in those four years, his belief and support in my music abilities and its presence in my life has never wavered, even when mine did. I have always admired him for his passion and dedication to music, and his ability to weather my many bald jokes to him is mind-blowing. Because of him, I have decided to find a way to continue playing my instrument in college. So thank you, Mr. Taylor, for letting me hide out in the music library when life got too stressful, and for letting band be my happy place. So, you might have picked up earlier in my spiel that I am a math person. I am the person who gets excited over differential equations and parametric vectors, with finding the sums of infinite series and volumes of nonlinear shapes. And now, cue the snoring because I've lost most of you guys. So while contemplating what to put in this speech, I decided to focus on things I understand best, which is numbers. And when looking at the statistics, it would appear that things could not be worse for the class of 2022. With only one normal year of high school in our back pockets, with months of isolation and Zoom calls with no cameras on, with infinite amounts of cancellations and postponements of activities, the class of 2022 appeared to be a lost hope at the start of the school year, destined to be at rock bottom in shambles. The odds were stacked against us. But as I stand here looking at everyone, I can clearly see that that prediction was wrong. <laughs> we came into this school year swinging, determined to be known for more than just a COVID class in BHS history. The men's basketball team went on a Cinderella run all the way to the final four at Breslin Center, the first time we have reached this stage in 20 years. Several people qualified for states in men's and women's bowling, wrestling, and swimming. 
with Tiger Drama producing the amazing play Rumors and the spectacular Seussical the Musical with record-breaking attendances and holding the first ever student-directed scenes. <laughs> BHS bands for having successful marching season and returning to play phenomenally at Hill Auditorium. For Diversity Matters, organizing poetry slams to make sure all voices are heard and supported. The eSports Club with competing in online gaming competitions and the robotics team for hosting a comp competition right here at Belleville. And how could we forget about the football team finally breaking the semifinal curse and winning the state championship for the first time in school's history? And the best part is, is that this list keeps going. So based on the data, I believe that the class of 2022 is one of the most successful classes at BHS ever, and that this senior year was pretty fire. <laughs> a very wise band teacher told me many, many, many times that Avery touched on a few moments ago, band, you know what I'm about to say, that change is inevitable, but growth is optional. And this senior class is the epitome of this idea. When we were dealt horrible cards and placed with an unbearable amount of weight on our shoulders, we didn't fold or crumble. We fought and climbed to get back where we started, and then kept climbing some more, exceeding everyone's expectations. Like carbon under pressure, we withstood the force and emerged as diamonds, with hope and potential ablaze. But I'm not gonna stand up here and romanticize the high school experience and the journey we've taken to get here, because I'm tired. You're tired, I bet. We all are very, very sleep deprived. The pressures, of <laughs> the pressures of fitting in, of turning in countless assignments, of worrying if whether we or our loved ones were going to catch COVID and if they would even survive took a huge toll on our mental health. If we have learned anything from this pandemic, it is that we must appreciate every little moment and take every opportunity as we head out into our new lives. We must fight and experience the hard times in order to treasure the good moments in our lives. Now, think about all the things we have accomplished and overcome. We're barely adults and we've handled and survived more than most people were experienced in their lifetime. If we can withstand this much as teens, imagine how much we will be able to achieve when we run the world. However, this class is not only a group of fighters. We also create harmony. When Mr. Sweets came to the middle school, our eighth grade year, he told us that the class of 2022 was the year of peace, as if we were a bunch of hippies or something. But in reality, he wasn't far off with his statement, as we are the first class that has had a semi-normal senior year since the pandemic hit, and the first class in almost three years to have their graduation ceremony right here at Eastern. Now, I'm not sure if we should be impressed by Sweets' prediction skills or angry at him for not warning us about the epidemic, but there are still a lot of unknowns throughout the globe. We live in a world full of chaos and conflict, and we're still at a standstill of how to push forward. This idea was reinforced a couple days ago with the tragic events that occurred at Robb Elementary in Texas. And if you will, please join me in a brief moment of silence for the two adults and 19 children who were killed and honor them at our graduation since they will no longer be able to attend their own. Thank you. But just like how we brought peace to Belva High School from the pandemic, the class of 2022 and this generation will bring peace to this world. We will keep up our fighting spirit, withstand the hard times, and always get back up when we fall down. We will not only reach our potential, 
but we will help others reach theirs too, pushing the boundaries until the world emerges just as we have, as a shining diamond. We have left BHS better than when we found it, so why shouldn't we be able to do the same with our future communities? So, as we sit here, itching to get out of these gowns and sweating to death, as we stand on the edge of the unknown, do not forget about where you've come from. Do not forget about the Bosco Stick Mondays, the tap, 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 the purpose, excellence, and achievement. Do not forget about the friends that you have made throughout these four years that you have grown up with and are now sitting by, seeing each other one last time before you part ways. And make sure you hug each and every one of them. But most importantly, do not forget about the strength and resilience that each one of you have. Go out to the world and keep up your fighting spirit and be the change we need in this country. And I cannot wait to see what each and every one of you do. And for one last time, go Tigers. Thank you. And now, it is my pleasure to reintroduce our lovely Belleville High School principal, Ms. Nicole Crockett, for the presentation of the class to the Board of Education. Thank you, Laura. That was wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Come on, get it out, get it out, get it out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I needed you to get it out so that you can hear this. Okay, now, before presenting the class of 2022, ladies and gentlemen in the audience, please make sure that each graduate's family has the opportunity to hear their name read aloud. I know we're all excited, we can do it. We're all excited. Please be sure that the next name being read can be heard to honor all the families for whom this is the most important occasion of their lives so far. Thank you for your cooperation and here we go. Members of the Board of Education and members of the class of 2022, please rise. <laughs> Superintendent Peter Kudlat, Board of Education President Amy Pierce, members of the Board of Education, on behalf of the faculty and staff at Belleville High School, and having fulfilled the academic requirements as mandated by the Board of Education, it is my honor to present to you for the purposes of graduation and to confer upon them their high school diplomas, the class of 2022. And now, all except the first row will be seated. First row, remain standing. Let's go. Derek Bernard Mays II. Danea O'Shea Adams. Derricka Lynn McCarter. Graduated with honors and the winner of the Marine Distinguished Athlete Award, Aaron Joshua Alexander. Jada Stajane Fisher. Graduated with highest honors, member of National Honor Society, 
National Honor Society Vice President, Sydney Iola Allison. Nicholas Irvin John Veal. Graduated with highest honors, National Honor Society, National Honor Society Publicity Manager, Anthony Gerald Andriano. Joshua Barker. Graduated with honors, Nathan Paul Antillen. Nathan Andrew George. Amari LeBron Augustine. Declan Russell Eaton. Ruben Epps Banks Jr. Gregory Michael Kreiner. Caleb Lamar Barker. Logan Daniel Kuklo. Member of National Honor Society, Brooklyn Sierra Barnes. Matthew Ryan Moore II. Bianca Marie Barney. Nicholas Robert Setnarowski. Emma Nicole Hacker. Elise Mose Renee Baskin. Graduating with honors, Kyle Anthony Mikulski. Isabella Ann Battaglia. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Chelsea Whitney Menard. Alicia Christine Battles. Graduating with honors, Owen James Mitchell. Justin Alexander Beanham. Nicole Taylor Malone. Graduated with honors, member of National Technical Honor Society, Jason Alexander Becker. Graduating with honors, Nicholas James Merrick. Grace Leslie Beebe. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Aisha Ann Morena. Caitlin Ann Belcher. Brianna Alea Martin. Alyssa Rosemary Bell. Aiden Michael Martinez. Laron Kent Bellard. Manuel Esteban Martinez. Marquise Rondale Berry. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, National Technical Honor Society, Jasmine Alexandria Martz. Graduated with honors, Ashley Bustamante. Marcus Dwayne Morrell, Jr. Ethan Scott Berry. Michaela Kane Nasser. Dana Monique Bibbins. Malik Laron Nasser. Bryant Rungi Butu. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, recipient of the Athletic Award, Brianna K. McCluskey. 
Brianna Madison Boone. Graduating with honors, Emma Kim McGuire. John Mark Joseph Borgdorf. Avery Bryce McIntosh. Lena Nicole Bolden. William Thomas McKinney IV. Graduating with honors, member of National Technical Honor Society, member of National Honor Society, Ariel Jemiah Boyd. Michaela My Angel McKinney. Graduated with honors, Luke Samuel Branham. Jasmine Morgan McLennan. Cameron D'Angelo Braswell. Emily Page Michelin. Graduated with honors, Ava Claire Tchaikovsky. Graduating with highest honors, Alana Marie O'Flynn. Graduating with highest honors, member of National Honor Society, Aaron Michael Lip Lipid Brizuela. Graduating with highest honors, ranked number three in the class, recipient of the English Award, recipient of the Science Award, Megan May Okubo. <laughs> Graduating with honors, recipient of the Lee Tallman Excellence Award, Anthony Michael Brothers. <laughs> Timothy Jarrett Orban. Caleb Emmanuel Brown. Cameron Armand Moore. Jordan Ramon Brown. Noel Lucilia Moore. Alyssa Faye Bryant. Travis John Moore. Carmen Latisse Bryant. Graduating with highest honors, Zachary Robert Moore. Tara Lynn Bryant. Tristan J. Morris. Graduating with honors, winner of the Marine Semper Fidelis Music Award, Nicholas Logan Brimer. Amir Joseph Morrison. Jordan Amari Burns. Michaela Nicole Simone Moses. Graduating with highest honors, member of National Honor Society, Logan James Cox. <laughs> Damascus Trimothy Pegues. <laughs> Judith Aileen Camacho. Dagan Riley Purdue. Jason Caleb Campbell. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Myla Lenise Peterson. <laughs> Jeremiah Lee Caldwell. <laughs> Graduating with honors, recipient of the Marine Distinguished Athlete Award, Layla Cherie Phillips. <laughs> Malia Kennedy Campbell. Haley Faith Navarre. Emily Castaneda Guzman. Preston Ray Nix. 
Nathan Alex Chan. Cadence Nicolaitis. Landon Dylan Chapman. Chapman. J Jacob Michael Overdorf. Erica Lee Charlesworth. Graduating with honors, Michael Donovan Obradovich. Jared Lee Churchill. Anaya Ann Offord. Albert Jose De Leon Ventura. Graduating with highest honors, Shafira Price. <laughs> Hannah Grace Clark. Recipient of the Business Education Award, Prince. Graduated with highest honors, Jaden William Clark. Christopher Eric Pringle. Graduated with highest honors, member of National Honor Society, Nathan James Clark. Samari Elise Parker. James Nelson Clippert II. Ethan Lane Overmeyer. Graduating with highest honors, member of National Honor Society, Liliana Rachel Coker. Demarion Nathaniel Owens. Marissa Michelle Cole. <laughs> Trayvon Raymond Parker. Austin Jeffrey Conley. Graduating with highest honors, Angel Nikita Parks. Gage Anthony Conway. Graduating with highest honors, ranked number six in the class, National Honor Society, recipient of the Yearbook Award, Avni Chirug Patel. Demarcus Daquan Copeland. Mia Haley Payne. Logan Marshall Drakowski. Dominique Alice Ratliff. Mateo Thomas Duff. Talia Monet Raymond. Graduate with honors, Xavier Michonne Crater. Xavier Ray Reed. Tatiana Lee Kraut. Willie Edward, Edward, Edward Petway. Jerron Michael Cunningham. Corey Jamar Lee. Corey Jamar Lee Pickett. Malik Jalen Curtis. Davion Keith Pitchford. Brandon Jamal Dallas. Gotcha. Latisse Ryan A. Pitts. Krishan Charles Danzi. Gradu graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Anna Marie Pleer. Madison Leanne Dont Sirota. Brianna K. Pointevent. Okay, good, good, good. 
Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society Social Studies Award, Isaac Warren Davis. Jason Paul Protesta. Graduating with highest honors, Olivia Marie Ferrugia. Ariana Marie Road. Laney Ann Fielder. Janaya Amaris Roper. Tyler Michael Dean. Tommy Paola Quiroz Aguilar. Graduating with honors, National Honor Society, Lily Grace Schuyler Derrick. Graduating with highest honors, ranked number nine in the class, National Honor Society, Athletic Award, Bryce Joseph Repka. Angelina Jonay Diaz. Maya Justine Rafferty. Anthony William Dillon. Keyshawn Suave Amante Range. Tyler Ray Dillon. Gianna Nicole Rambus. Ariana Larice Dixon. Kayla Shante Rambus. Graduating with highest honors, Zachary Chance Dorton. Ronzi Raymond Randall. Graduating with honors, National Honor Society, BHS Productions Theater Award, Trinity Clark Dozier. Christian Alandre Rapley. Kamari Marshan Garlington. Graduating with honors, Megan Elaine Saudi. Olivia Morgan Fields. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Zoe Renee Saudi. Mariah Janae Duncans. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Chase David Reeves. Cameron Christopher Dyson. Demaya Shante Roden. Sydney Marie Edwards. Jamal Anthony Richards. Emily Rose Edwards. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Spencer Alwyn Nuesca Ramondo. Amarie Deasia Ellerson Woods. Graduating with honors, Zachary Kenneth Robinson. Adriana Denise Elliott. Treasure Ray Robinson. Sean Patrick Impson. Isabel Maria Rodriguez. Matthew Tyler Zachley Etzel. 
Graduating with highest honors, Lee Ann Roll. Tanaya Sariti Ganey. Alex Shorter. Kiera Alexis Gunther. Kiana Renee Seiler. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Samantha Christine Hall. Graduating with honors, National Honor Society, National Honor Society Exemplary Service Award, Aviana Jasmine Simmons. Nathan Edward Folks. Cadence Marianne Rapp. <laughs> Graduating with honors, National Technical Honor Society, Tyler Daniel Folks. Mackenzie Lynn Rose. Graduating with honors, Paige Monet Davis. Draken Wolf Satoff. Percy Fowler the Fourth. Eddie Jewel Sane the Third. Tayshawn Ashton Ford. Graduating with highest honors, National Technical Honor Society, Abdul Bashir Sarjo. John Michael Foster. Graduating with highest honors, ranked number four in the class, National Honor Society, Kylie Bell Satterfield. Hayden Michael Gantner. Emily Nicole Saudi. Graduating with honors, National Honor Society, Jasmine Starr Hawkins. Taylor Simone Sumbri. Bryce Amari Haynes. Graduating with honors, Yalia Aisha Sykes. Deshaun Allen Haynes. Aria Nicole Scott. Triana Dantanea Gary. Jared Wayne Schreckengast. Angel Mauricio Gonzalez Buendia. Graduating with honors, World Language Award for French, Jesse James Schreckengast. Myla Marie Monique Green. Recipient of the Lee Tallman Excellence Award, Kimberly Nicole Schultz. Jayshawn Anthony Green. Kalise Gail Scott. Gould. Gould. Jackson Perry Gould. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Rachel Ann Sentowski. Leo Griffin III. Jesse Allen Schaefer. Miles, Miles Sincere Omari Geis. 
Graduating with honors, World Language Award for Spanish, Ryan Oliver Sherman. Jamil Trayvon Ramon House, Jr. Tavion Arthur Lee Taylor. Kadarius LaDre Howard. Brayon Lee Scribbling. Samara Rochelle Howard. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, National Technical Honor Society, Game Design and Programming Award, Ian Nicholas Simmons. Jacoby Dawn Hubbard. Graduating with honors, Alexander Tudor Sergi. Taylor Dulce Hall Green. Graduating with honors, National Honor Society, Jason Wade Slusher. Mohammed Tariq Hamid. Graduating with highest honors, ranked number five in the class, National Honor Society, Avery Connor Stakely. Jeremiah Maurice Hammonds. Ernie Lee Stamper. Graduating with honors, Jessica Dale Harper. Jerron Marquise Staple. Graduating with honors, National Honor Society, Reginald DePon Harper II. Recipient of the Art Award, Alvin Khalil Stewart. Chaz Lanier Harrington. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Student Council Publicity Manager, Morgan Elisa Stuckey. Jaden Lee Jackson Henley. David Tan. Claudia Marie Jenkins. Graduating with honors, Jonathan Demetrius Taylor. Garrett, Garrett Wayne Jensen. Anthony Ulch. Deja Lene Johnson. Graduating with highest honors, ranked number seven in the class, National Honor Society, Student Council Secretary, Nazareth Sanchez. Graduating with the Physical Education Award, Dejan Dupree Johnson. Dominic Mikhail Tetro. Graduating with honors, Alexander Thomas Hess. Shane Ryan Thomas. Danielle Marie Hicks. <laughs> Jayla Nicole Todd. Zachary Thomas Hill. Graduating with honors, National Honor Society, Jacqueline Torres. Jayla Nicole Holmes. Gabriel Leonard Toth. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Casey Marie Hoskins. 
Maurice Deshaun Tyner. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Student Council Treasurer, Isra Rakai Kabir. Charles William Willis IV. Landon Scott Kelly. Justin Javier Uribe Buendia. Anastasia Renee Kelly. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Diego Alejandro Vasquez. Graduating with honors, Makai Simone Kennedy. Graduating with highest honors, Elliot Christopher Wiesel. Starlin Irene Kenny Adkins. Graduating with honors, Marcus Gabriel Voigt. <laughs> Graduating with highest honors, ranked number 10 in the class, National Honor Society, Marine Simper Fidelis Music Award, Daniel Hoy. Deliverance Wallace. Jackson William Hunt. National Technical Honor Society, Faith Aaliyah Ann Walton. Deontay Darian Jackson. Ashley Wang. Derek Jackson. Ryan Ellen Ward. Tony Zaire Jackson. Zoe McKenzie Washington. Deshaun Antonio Mizell Lee. Noah Anthony Williams. Olivia Rose Lees. Aviana Amaje Lynn Poole Donahue. Graduated with highest honors, ranked number eight in class, National Technical Honor Society, Luke Matthew Lenonen. Abigail Joan Weekland. Chavez. Keishawn Chavez Lemons. Bryce Stephen Weber. Hayden Matthew Lutz. Connor Ryan Weiss. Graduating with Construction Technology Award, Hunter Dale Johnson. Jason Thomas West, Jr. Graduating with honors, Mario Pierre Johnson. Aaliyah Marie Wilkerson. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Kayla Desiree Jones. Eliza Ariana Williams. Trevor Daniel Jones. Terrence Deer Williams. Adriana Jean Josephowski. Charmaine Lisa Alizé Willis. 
Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Emily Ann Wisniewski. National Technical Honor Society, Aries John Lupez. Abigail Rose Wiganek. Graduating with highest honors, Elisa Kim Gibbon Sante Iglesia. Amira Yarbrough. Jacoby Cordell Watkins. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, National Technical Honor Society. Elise Emily Zitzowitz. Jackson Cole Littleson. Jackie Monet Chappis. <laughs> Tamia Lemir Lockett. Kylie, Kylie Marie Labadee. Tyree Lamar Lockett. Desiree Diamond Eve Lacey. Kira Halliland Lotharp. Dariante Lassiter. Tayshawn Michael Lindsay. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Braden Alexander Lawhorn. <laughs> Layla Marie Lindsay. Miana Shalia Leith. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Shawnee Michelle Lewis. Graduating with honors, Gabrielle Fallen Revels. Denaya Lene Green. Michael Anthony Givens Jr. Jordan Novotnik. Keyshawn Simone Kegler. Ricardo Jose Russell III. Gabrielle Patricia Workman. Eric Dwayne Williams Jr. Carisha Ann Howard Bennett. Graduating with honors. Janaya Michelle Williams. Harrison. Dakari Ari Harrison. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Christian Marie Williams. Karina Nitoria Howard Bennett. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Maria Olivia Verzi. Amari Lenise Haley. Evelyn Yvonne May Wardle. Megan Nicole Wilson. Charles Eugene Wilson, Jr. Christopher Lamont Mangrum. Nayla Grace O'Neill Lewis.
Graduating with highest honors, Kalia Cassandra Lynn Slayton. Madison Marie Williams. Figueroa. Dezan Figueroa. Sanai Steed. Jordan Lee Byron Thomas. Graduating with highest honors, Student Council Vice President, Jada Lynette Tyler. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Student Council President, Senior Class President Award, Kennedy Camille Plummer. Graduating with highest honors, National Honor Society, Salutatorian Award. Ladies and gentlemen, the Salutatorian of the Class of 2022, Avery Marie Fields. The class of 2022 valedictorian. Highest honors, valedictorian, National Honor Society, National Honor Society President, Mathematics Award, and the Music Award. Laura Erin Montgomery. At this time, okay, come on, go ahead, go, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, at this time, I invite the senior class president, Kennedy Plummer, to give closing remarks and to lead the time-honored tradition of the changing of the tassel. Shout out to my family and my sister, my best friend. I love you so much. <laughs> so before I begin my speech, I want to say that today is a day for celebration. So although this is a formal event, my speech may be a little informal. So feel free to clap whenever, give a little whoop, little shout. Be yeah, because today is about us. It's about honoring our greatness. So with that being said, Good evening, parents, teachers, loved ones, and graduates. My name is Kennedy Plummer, and it is my honor to serve as the Class of 22 president for the last four years. Yeah. 
For those who don't know me, I was part of marching band, volleyball, student council, etc. And I am proud to say I will be attending the University of Michigan Ann Arbor. Hashtag Go Blue! <laughs> Besides that, the first thing I wanted to say was, what's up? We came in 2018 bringing fire, intelligence, and energy into a building that is unmatched by any class. Every spirit week, homecoming dance, pep assembly, we stepped and we showed out. Oh, and don't forget prom, Mwah. chef's kiss. I mean, we looked amazing. Our class was not only surviving school, but thriving outside of it. Matter of fact, I have a little example to show you. Stand up if you played a sport. Stand up if you are part of band or marching band. Stand up if you joined a club like robotics, student council, diversity matters, etc. If you're in the theater program, <laughs> stand up if you have or had a job. Stand up if you spend time studying. And finally, stand up if you just watch your butt across this stage. All right, you may be seated. We are not a one-trick pony, and our dedication to bettering ourselves shines through the countless hours of activities and accomplishments. So, if I could describe our class in one word, it would be resilient. These past few years have been extremely difficult for all of us in many ways. Some have lost their loved ones, slipped up during school, and even lost themselves. However, not once did we quit, even though I'm sure many of us wanted to this year, and especially last year, because senioritis is no joke, and they should have a thing called junioritis, because that is real. <laughs> In fact, let's do a recap of these last four years. Freshman year, everything was new, and we came in bright-eyed and open-minded, and I don't care what anyone says, freshman year homecoming was so much fun. <laughs> Then sophomore year was going pretty good. We ended up having a two week vacation, which turned into a month vacation, which turned into an ongoing pandemic, where Netflix, video games, FaceTime, and TikTok kind of took over our lives. And then there's junior year. That sucked, personally. I can't say many good things about that. But senior year, we had plenty of dubs across the board. Let's see, we had an iconic throwback day where we dressed up in 80s fashion. We demolished the juniors and staff during Tough Puff Volleyball, which I coach, by the way. Shout out to Tough Puff team. <laughs> we had seniors bumping music from their backpacks the first and last day of school. We won district and regional champs and semifinals for many sports. We revived the theater program, had a water balloon fight, a pillow fight, and a DJ in the cafeteria multiple times. Oh, and of course, we won the football state championship for the first time in Belleville history. Something like, something like. I always said that we would be the class to win it, and that in itself is another reason why we're the best to ever do it. See, there's this quote I heard a few months ago, and it immediately resonated with me. It says, you cannot glamorize the goals but dread the execution. And for you, all of you that did not hear me, I'm gonna say it again. You cannot glamorize the goals, but dread the execution. We cannot expect great outcomes without a great amount of work. The class of 2022 not only survives, but thrives when a challenge is thrown our way. We embraced the process and worked extremely hard to get to this moment right here. There's so much fire and drive embedded in our blood. We have some of the most hardworking individuals sitting here today, current entrepreneurs, future business owners, some college athletes, college bond students, essential workers, and people going straight to the workforce. There is boundless ambition in this room and the sky's the limit. Moving on to the next era of our lives can bring a ton of emotions. Some of us may feel scared, sad, nervous, excited, or a combination of all of those. 
I mean, it's fair. We have been with each other for years. Some of these people we've known since we started school, which is crazy, shout out to Mrs. Pruce's kindergarten class. <laughs> Our entire school career has led up to this moment. 12 long, sometimes agonizing, but fun years. Honestly, this past week has felt surreal, kind of fake, and it probably won't set in for a couple of days from now. It's very easy to get caught up in the craziness of everything, so I just want to ask you to look at your people, give yourself a moment to take it all in and say, I made it, because wow. Many of us did not think that we were gonna get here. So everyone has worked extremely hard to get where they are now. We have dreams and plans I know we will accomplish whenever we set our minds to it. And I am extremely blessed to have known you guys in both an unspoken bond that will last a lifetime. Every single one of you is special and great, and I genuinely love each of you, even if we only said hi in the hallway. With that being said, the moment has finally come. We're about to be done, and it's time to begin the ceremonial moving of the tassels. Let's go, class of 2022! 